Hi, and welcome to another week in our Unscripted series. Back in the shop again today to talk to you about our true oil finish. Now I've put on a bunch of different types of finishes. Two different types of water-based lacquer, nitrocellulose lacquer, UV cured polyester, and several types of oils. And in my mind, there is no perfect finish. There is, in terms of the person that's applying it and putting it on, each one has its pluses and minuses. And so I suggest if you're looking at putting on finish on an instrument, just pick your poison as I think of it. Find the finish that seems to work best for you and then optimize that. So for us, it's true oil. We think it brings out the natural beauty in the wood and it really reinforces our aesthetic, which is to let the wood shine through and not put anything in the way of it. So um, there are a couple critical steps in oiling and the first one is preparation. We sand, we hand sand to 600 and that is after we have masked off the bridge. I don't want to get any oil underneath the place where I'm going to glue on the bridge and I like to glue on the bridge after we have put finish on because I think it yields the cleanest finish. So hand sand to 600 with the grain, ease all of your edges with the sandpaper after having masked off for the bridge and you're ready to go. All right, so when putting on oil, the key things are the true oil and it, it acts very different than other oils you may have used or seen in the past. Put on very little oil, do it in a small area, and rub it off immediately. And the big thing here is make sure that you have not left any residue, especially in little cracks and crevices, like where the fretboard meets the body, where the neck meets the body. You wanna make sure that you dry all of that off. And I'll talk in a little bit about subsequent coats of oil. We put on four coats, and rub off with steel wool in between. But uh, let's go ahead and put on this first coat of oil. Okay, so as you can see, I worked in small areas. I didn't put much oil on at all, and trust me, after four coats, it really penetrates. I wiped it off very carefully, taking special care to get in all of the little nooks and crannies around the neck and the fretboard, and looking it over to make sure I don't have any excess on there. You saw me wipe around the top and back binding to make sure none had wiped off while I was doing the top and the back and left residue. That'll be very hard to deal with later. And the last thing I'm gonna do on this instrument is put a little fretboard oil on the fretboard and the coat one is gonna be done. Okay, there you have it. This fretboard oil is available from Stuart McDonald and other Luthery supply houses around the world. And as you can see, I put very, very little on the fretboard, but it's something that if you're ever looking to get your instrument back in brand new pristine condition, boy, when you restring, put a little fretboard oil on it and it just renews that fretboard for you. All right, now on to a next step. So the next step in the oiling process is to gently take some four aught steel wool to the instrument in between each coat. I let each coat dry at least 24 hours and then I steel wool it. The objective of the steel wool, and, and by the way, this is German made, I think it's called Luster Sheen. It's a really a phenomenal grade of four aught steel wool. Very fine and perfect for what we're doing. I'm not gonna rub all that hard. I'm really just trying to take out any dust that might have settled in the wet oil while it was drying. And I'm also trying to knock down any grain that was raised uh, when we put that oil on, which just really happens mostly in the first coat. All right, let's just steal wool and remember, go with the grain.
That's all there is to that. Give it a little squirt with some compressed air just to take off all of the steel wool particles and it's ready for its next coat of oil. All right, now I'm ready to put subsequent coats of oil. Uh, this instrument is about to get its fourth coat. Uh, what you're really trying to do in, after that first coat, including the first coat, is you want to make sure you do get oil everywhere. Now on the first coat it's easy because the wood is bare and you can see right where it's going down. But on the subsequent coats you really have to look carefully in some good light, side light, and make sure that you have, when you're putting the oil on, that you've put it everywhere. In particular, for a right-handed person, the upper and lower bout of the top and back can be difficult because your hand wants to come up like that as you're oiling. So you want to make sure you have it down and then you look in the light and make sure you've got it everywhere. All right, let's just put this coat of oil on. All right, and that's its fourth coat of oil. Next up for this is just a light uh, touch with steel wool. That's gonna be in another 24 hours. A little bit of lemon oil, very light lemon oiling, and it's ready for its bridge. Thanks.